is to write an assembly language program to multiply two 8 bit numbers. So, here again we are going to consider the memory locations 40H and 41H and the data to be CD present in the memory location 40H and AE to be present in the memory location 41H and the result will be stored in 50H and 51H. So, in order to perform this multiplication we will be using the arithmetic instruction mul AB. So, the two numbers that you are going to multiply the two 8 bit numbers that you are going to multiply should be stored in the A register and the B register. So, first initially you need to store the input data in this. After performing the multiplication, the result will be such that your accumulator will have the lower byte of data that is the lower byte of the result and your B register will have the upper byte of the result. Fine. So, you need to ensure that whatever is there in 40H either it moves to the accumulator and whatever is there in 41H can be moved to or should be moved to the B register. Now, in this case you can interchange this also because you are performing multiplication not division. So, multiplication uh, means you can take any content in the A register and anything can be in the B register. So, for my example what I have done is A register is basically having the content CD and the B register is having the content AE. We had the two numbers CD multiplied with AE and the result is 8B56. So, 8B is your upper byte of data, 56 is the lower byte of data. So, if you can remember, remember the two locations 40 and 41H where input data will be stored and the result will be stored in 50H and 51H with the lower byte stored in 50H and upper byte stored in 51H. So, you have the program ORG 000H corresponding to the starting of the code and the starting address. So, initially the first number that I had considered the content which was stored in 40H was CD will now have to be moved to the accumulator. So, accumulator is now containing CD. The second number which was in 41H was AE has to be moved to the B register. So, B register is now containing AE. Now, you will be performing the multiplication of A into B and the result of this multiplication is that you get it as 8B56. Right? Do you remember? 8B56? Yes. So, what we need to do is that we need to move the lower byte of data into the location 50H and upper byte of data into the location 51H. So, finally terminate the code. That is all very simple program. Let me take you to the keel and show you the result. So, the two memory locations that I had considered was 40 and 41 H where the data was being stored. So, I had the inputs as CD and AE. 
so now when i do the step by step execution let us see what will happen to the result okay so since i've already input the data let me just change the location so that i can easily check the output so first step move a comma 40h so cd has come to the accumulator move b comma 41h a is pushed into the a register b register multiplication of ab will give you the lower byte that is 56 in a register a a register or the accumulator and upper byte in the b register then you need to move the content in the accumulator to 50h so you can see you have 56 here and the content that is present in the b register will be moved to 51h so the next program that you have is to find the square of an 8 bit number so this program goes in similar steps like the one which we have seen earlier so here what we do is we have to begin the code we need to use org0000h which will correspond to the starting address then when we store the data because we are finding the square we have to just input only one data then what we can do is move that to the accumulator and the same thing can be moved to the b register so for example if i'm say considering the input as cd in the location 40h i basically need to find out what is cd square equal to right so what i need to do is i need to multiply this just twice because cd into cd is nothing but equal to cd square so initially i will be moving the content from 40h to the accumulator after that the same content i'm going to move from accumulator to the b register so you can observe here move b comma a then i'm going to multiply a and b so the result of this will be such that you will have the lower byte of data stored in the accumulator and you will have the upper byte of data stored in the b register so what you need to do here is that our intention is to obtain the result in 50h and 51h so whatever is there in the accumulator has to be moved to the location 50h whatever is there in the location 50 b uh, in the b register has to be moved to the location 51h and then finally terminate the code okay so just for confirmation let us see what is cd square equal to so i'll go to the so i am taking the same input cd into cd to obtain cd square so cd into cd is equal to or cd square is equal to a4 to 9 you can see here the result a4 to 9 so you have cd square to be equal to a4 to 9 this will be the lower byte stored in the location 50h this is the upper byte stored in the location 51h so let us check this result using keel so the location that i will be considering is 40h itself and i'll let store my data you can see i have stored cd in the location 40h and because i need to obtain the result in 50 and 51h i will now only change the location and keep it as 50 so you can see here 
now let me do this step by step execution initially move a comma 40h whatever is there in 40h is moved to accumulator so accumulator is now containing cd move b comma a even b register will contain cd now now it will multiply a and b the result was a429 right so a4 was the upper byte of data 29 was the lower byte of data so this lower byte is present in accumulator whereas the upper byte is present in the b register so this lower byte has to be moved to location 50h you can see 29 has come and upper byte is supposed to move to 51h that is a4 then terminate the code